In this tutorial, we will examine a factorial analysis of variance. Remember that factorial ANOVA involves two or more variables examined simultaneously. We are interested in the effects of each of these variables plus their interaction. For example, perhaps we're interested in whether there were differences between males and females and between the treatment group and the control group in terms of the number of books read at post-test. We could use a factorial ANOVA to examine these main effects and also to see if males and females respond differently to the treatment, that is, to see if there is an interaction between gender and group. In our example, we will do a 2 by 2 ANOVA, meaning that there are two levels of the first variable, gender, male and female, and two levels of the second variable, group, treatment and control. To conduct a factorial ANOVA, go to the Analyze menu and select General Linear Model, then Univariate. Enter Books Post as the dependent variable, and Gender and Group as fixed factors. Click the Options button and select Descriptive Statistics, then Continue. Finally, click the Plots button to obtain a graph of the means. This provides a nice visual image of the effects and interaction, if there is one. For the horizontal axis, select Group. The treatment and control groups will appear as data points on the horizontal axis. For the separate lines, select Gender, which will provide separate lines for male and female participants. Then click Add to add the plot to the box below and continue. Click OK to run the analysis, and an output window will open. The first box in the output window is basic information about which variables were included and how many people were in each level of each factor. The second box provides descriptive statistics. Note that all relevant means and standard deviations are provided. For females overall, for males overall, for the control group overall, the treatment group overall, and for males and females within each of the groups. The next box presents the results of the analyses. There are three F-tests to pay attention to, one for gender, one for group, and one for the interaction, which is listed as gender asterisk group. To determine degrees of freedom, look at the DF value for the row in question, as well as the DF value for the row labeled error. For example, for gender, F with 1 and 36 degrees of freedom equals 0.41. Sig, which is the p-value, equals 0.53, rounding up, which is le greater than 0.05. So the effect of gender is not significant, meaning that there was not a significant difference between males and females in the number of books read at post-test. However, for group, F with 1 and 36 degrees of freedom equals 25.81, which is significant at P less than 0.001. This means that the two groups differed significantly in the number of books read at post-test. Finally, the interaction F with 1 and 36 degrees of freedom equals 0.86, which is not significant. P equals 0.36. This means that males and females did not respond differently to the two conditions, treatment versus control. A look at the plot confirms this. As you can see, the slopes of the two lines for males and females are similar, with the control condition having a much lower mean than the treatment condition. In a 2 by 2 ANOVA, simply looking at the means will tell you where the significant differences lie. Because we have only two groups, treatment and control, a significant effect of group means that one group is different from the other. However, interpreting an interaction is a bit trickier. If the interaction is significant, it is helpful to conduct individual t-tests to make sense of the interaction. Although the interaction in this example is not significant, we will still walk through the steps for interpreting an interaction so that you can do so if you obtain a significant interaction. Let's close up the output menu.
For example, you could look at just males and do a t-test comparing the treatment and control groups, then look at just females and do the same t-test comparison. To do this, you must split the file by gender so that SPSS will run separate analyses for the two genders. To split the file, go to the Data menu and select Split File. Check the circle that says Compare Groups. Then choose the variable that you want to split the file. In this case, Gender. Click OK. And now conduct the t-test comparing treatment and control groups as illustrated before. Analyze, compare means, independent samples. We need to reset to clear what we did previously. Our test variable is books post. And our grouping variable will be group, treatment versus control. Remember, we must define these as previously labeled. We click OK. And as you can see, two t-tests appear, one for females and one for males. In this case, both of them are significant, which is not surprising since our interaction was not significant. If the interaction were significant, we might find that, for example, females in the treatment and control groups differed from each other, but males in the two groups didn't differ, indicating that the treatment worked for the females, but not for the males. Note that the file could also be split by group, which would permit a comparison of males and females within the treatment group, and males and females within the control group. Be sure to explore all possibilities. Also, don't forget to go back to the data menu and unsplit the file. Select Split File and analyze all cases do not create groups, then OK, before doing any more analyses of the entire sample. This concludes the Factorial ANOVA tutorial.